you don't always have to spend money to make money. If you want to launch a side gig to generate regular part-time income, or if you're looking for some quick extra cash, some websites and apps can help you do it. Of course, it depends on your definition of quick cash. Sometimes earning fast cash still means putting in decent time investment. That's why today I will list money-making websites in their order of time. In other words, we will start with the companies that take the most time and resources to companies that will generate income the fastest. So grab a cup of coffee, like and subscribe to this channel, and let's go. Number 1. Fiverr. According to their website, Fiverr is the world's largest marketplace for digital services, which offers both buyers and sellers a digitally streamlined transactional platform. The unique term for a service offered by a seller on Fiverr is called a gig. When creating gigs, sellers can choose their starting price point. This is a popular website that can be helpful for freelancers. Know something about digital animation? You can work for someone who doesn't have these skills and pick up some extra cash. You can make some really good money by offering your skills and services to clients that are looking for a quick turnaround. The only drawback with Fiverr is that clients expect lower prices. You can ask for more, but your competition might offer the same services for less. Also, Fiverr takes a 20% commission on sales once the client orders and pays for your services. Number 2. Etsy. Etsy is arguably the number one website to list your handcrafted products. It is a global online marketplace where people come together to make, sell, buy, and collect unique items. This platform makes it possible for sellers to own successful shops as it provides them access to consistent marketing resources to grow their Etsy stores. You can really earn a steady income running an online business on Etsy. There are many people earning anywhere from $5,000 to $50,000 a year, and it's easy to set up. The drawbacks are there are many competitors, transaction fees and limitations on how your store looks. There are three basic selling fees. A listing fee, a transaction fee, and a payment processing fee. It costs 20 cents to publish a listing on the marketplace. A listing lasts for four months or until the item is sold. Once an item sells, there is a 6.5% transaction fee on the sale price. If you accept payments through Etsy payments, they also collect a 3% plus 25 cents payment processing fee when an item is sold. The main advantage for Etsy is that once you list your products, you will be in front of millions of customers at once. Number 3. Neighbor.com. Do you have storage space in your house? Or maybe an empty garage or storage shed? You could rent out these spaces on Neighbor.com which is sort of like Airbnb for the self-storage industry. You set your own prices, and the person who rents your space will pay Neighbor.com a service fee. If you're looking for a simple way to earn passive income that doesn't require startup capital, you may want to look into this. When you sign up as a host on Neighbor, you link your bank account so you can receive payments. That's all you have to do in terms of payments, as Neighbor collects the rent for you and deposits money in your account each month. Neighbor charges hosts a 4.9% processing fee and 30 cents for every reservation. How much can you earn? That will depend on what kind of space you have and how long you rent it. For example, a garage for autos can earn anywhere from $100 to $800 a month, or a driveway can earn anywhere from $50 to $250. Number 3. OfferUp. If you don't want to host a yard sale, OfferUp may be the next best thing. All you have to do is take a picture of what you have and price it. Then hopefully someone nearby will see it online, send you a note and buy it from you in a public space. OfferUp also offers ways to mail items to buyers. OfferUp specifies that you can sell only tangible items in your possession, rather than something intangible, such as a service or advertisement. You also cannot sell gift cards, alcohol or offensive items on the platform. It's simple and fast to use, you just download the OfferUp app and can get started right away. Posting and browsing items on OfferUp is free, and buying items with cash is free for both sellers and buyers. Certain transactions, like shipped items, may include service fees or shipping costs when the item is sold. Any applicable costs will be shown to the seller when listing an item, or to the buyer when making an offer. 4. ThreadUp. ThreadUp is the largest thrift and consignment shop on the internet. This e-commerce company appeals to thrifty types looking to make money and sell their clutter for cash. You send the clothes in a ThreadUp bag with a prepaid mailing label, and ThreadUp decides the value, favoring popular brands and clothing in good condition. But don't just send any clothing to them, since you will be charged a service fee if it's not accepted. 
clothing that are worn or torn should not be sent to them. ThreadUp generally favors clothing that is worn but still in good condition, and name brands are a plus. ThreadUp's commission fee varies from 20% to 90% of the selling price. And the seller's payout depends on the cost of an item. For example, for items priced at $5 to $19, sellers get a payout of 5% to 15% and so on. The more valuable the item, the higher your percentage is. Number 5. Gazelle. Do you have a lot of electronics such as phones, iPads, computers lying around? Gazelle will pay you cash for your devices. Gazelle allows you to list your items for free, get paid instantly when your item is sold. You can sell smartphones, laptops, or tablets in bulk and get a 30-day return policy with free shipping. However, they are picky on what kind of electronics they are willing to sell. For example, they only want to sell MacBooks and not Window PC. You can go to their website, choose the item that you want to sell and check out the pending offer. Number 6. Society6. Do you have artistic abilities? If you do, you might want to check out this site. Society6 is a print-on-demand online marketplace of artwork that allows both professional and amateur artists and designers to easily create their own online shops to sell their artwork on prints, posters, canvases, and other kinds of wall art, as well as on a variety of accessories like tote bags, apparel and furniture too. These companies are part of the print-on-demand industry that has been growing in recent years. Print-on-demand websites allow artists to upload their designs and print them on a range of products such as t-shirts, mugs, phone cases and pretty much anything else. They are the middleman and earn a commission every time a sale is made. The company prints, packages, and ships your work straight to the customer without you lifting a finger. Society6 has a simple interface that is easy to use and millions of customers ready to buy. Society6 pays you 10% of the products you sell, except for art prints, canvas prints, and framed prints. Those products allow you to make more by setting your own custom markup. Number 7. Field Agent. This company is available as an app, and you can download it from the iOS or Android store. When working for Field Agent, you'll help companies conduct market research and better understand their in-store experience. Once you've downloaded the app and signed up, you'll have the option to complete a series of quick tasks for the sake of training. These tasks won't require you to go anywhere, but they're simply there to gauge how well you follow instructions. The on-demand platform relies on crowdsourcing. To date, Field Agent has more than 1 million smartphones on its platform in the United States and an additional 2 million elsewhere in the world. The company was first founded in 2009 to solve the problem of businesses not being able to access in-store conditions and shopper insights in real time. There are four primary tasks that field agents perform. Mobile audits, mobile research, mystery shopping, and digital demos. A field agent task can pay anywhere from $3 to $15. Each data collection task takes about 30 minutes to complete. You can realistically make anywhere from $6 to $30 per hour. Well, I hope this video helps you on your journey to making money from alternate sources. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for future money-making videos. Until then, take care and have a great day.